Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me a little bit today. So today I have a short but extremely special episode for you guys today. Um, it's kind of an intro to which will be a kickoff of a few different videos. Um, but I recently got a couple deliveries and wasn't expecting them. Um, had no idea they were coming and absolutely blew me away. So once again, the RC Elf um, just out of the blue contacted me and said, hey, you got a delivery coming tomorrow. And that was it. <laughs> you know, I was like, awesome. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight because, you know, with the RC Elf, you have no idea what may actually show up in the mail. Um, so next day shows up, this huge box shows up on my front door. And not like, you know, refrigerator size box, but a very long, wide, kind of thin box showed up. So I was very, very confused. Um, you know, it didn't seem like a normal kit or anything like that. But when I took it upstairs and opened it up, um, my jaw about hit the floor. And um, my wife was asking me, what is it? What is it? And I couldn't talk for a minute because um, I couldn't believe what I was actually seeing. So I opened the box to find this, the Marui Super Wheelie Land Cruiser. Now this is an original new in box Land Cruiser from 1983. So this was kit number one for Marui. This was the first release that they did in 83, followed by the CJ7, and then they had, you know, eight or nine more afterwards, all the way up until 88, I believe. Now they did re-release this one later on, but this one is, as far as I can tell, an actual um, 1983 release. So I'm not going to dig into the box. I will put up some still photos at the end. Um, we will have separate videos for each one of these kits. Um, now this one, I don't think I'm going to build. So don't want to crush anybody's dreams and hopes of seeing it built. But, you know, this is a very, very rare kit. I am super, super, super excited to have it. I never in my wildest dreams thought, you know, this was going to show up on my doorstep or, you know, I was ever going to get one. Um, you know, it's it's a super rare thing to find a mint condition new inbox kit from 1983, um, especially from a company that didn't make a large amount of RCs. Um, Marui was basically pumping out RCs from 83 to 88, roughly, and, you know, just kind of fizzled out and... You know, no more have been made since. It's not like to me, and you can hope for a re-release. Um, so at this point, this one I don't think is going to get built. You know, I you'll see it when I take some still pictures of the box. It's presented nicely, and you know, it is 100% just like it was the day it left the showroom. So this was the first thing. So you know, after collecting myself and you know, gathering my thoughts and, and words, I quickly messaged. RC Elf and thanked him a million times for the amazing gift. Uh, sent him a cool picture of me holding it, looking like Christmas morning. So he responded with, oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you loved it. There's more showing up tomorrow. And, you know, I was speechless at that point as well. You know, uh, how do you, how do you follow up, you know, such an awesome vintage kit? And um, so, you know, okay. <laughs> I had no idea what to expect, and once again, it was like Christmas Eve that night, um, head wandering and, and wondering what was going on and, and what I might get tomorrow. I hear the delivery guys show up, and an uh, even bigger box shows up this time, and I'm like, what in the world did he send me? So this time, it was two kids, the first of which being another vintage rare release. So this is the Cox Bandito. And this one is really, really cool. Um, obviously, again, new in box, vintage kit. Now, this one is a fully, almost ready to run package. You do have to paint the body, put the decals on, you know, put the wheels and tires on. But this actually comes a fully built chassis kit, gearbox is built, everything is pretty much ready to go with this kit. Um, you know, it includes a radio, the receivers, the charger, um, the battery. So. All you had to do was go out and buy this kit and then get some AA batteries for the, the controller and some paint, and you were ready to go. So this one is really, really cool. And because this one is 
the vast majority of it is built, I am going to go ahead and build this one, get it painted, get it finished, and have this one up on the channel. So this one will have its own dedicated unboxing video. This will have its own build series video, and I will take this one out and run it. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar with the Cox Bandito, this came out around 85, 86, somewhere in there. It is basically the Kyosho chassis that went across the Icarus, the Cosmo, and the Pegasus. So the chassis was made by Kyosho, came out around 1985, and then Cox basically put a different body on it and then bundled it with the radio equipment and everything that they have and charger and all that stuff and sold it underneath of the Cox name. Um, I'm still learning more about it, so I may be a little fuzzy on some of that stuff, but pretty much it's a Kyosho buggy underneath with the Cox body and all the radio gear and stuff like that. Now, Cox was mainly into RC planes, uh, little RC motor, like actual gas engines, nitro engines, sorry. And, um, they did venture into cars a couple times. Um, they had some, you know, control line cars where, you know, you just fired up the little uh, nitro engine and it just ran around in circles for, like, speed. Um, but for the most part, Cox was known for their aircraft engines um, for, you know, the regular RC aircraft crew. But this was probably their coolest venture into land-based RC and I'm really excited to actually get this one built. So this one, again, this will have its unboxing. Then it will have an actual tear down because I am going to tear down the diff the rear end to make sure the grease hasn't gone hard or anything and to make sure that there's plenty of grease in it. Um, just do a visual inspection of everything, get it all put together, get the body painted and decaled, and then that will be its own video. And then there will be a run video of this one as well. So this one, super cool and will definitely give me something exciting to tinker on. Now, there's also another one that came in that box. So, I did open this one up first. So, again, jaws on the floor and not sure what to say, especially once I opened it up and, you know, the battery's in there, the charger's in there, all that stuff, you know, just so cool. But then we have another. So, the third kit, um, you know, I've seen this once or twice in my entire life. And, you know, it's been on huge channels and, you know, guys that have very, very cool vintage collections. Um, you know, so this one, I never in my wildest dreams thought I would get one, much less one that is brand new in box. So, RC Elf, thank you so much. This kit here is beyond my wildest dreams of something I thought I was going to have in my collection. The Mugen Bulldog 2. So, if you guys don't know anything about it, don't feel bad. Um, you know, I know a little bit about it, and I'm still learning stuff on it. And, you know, once I have the video on it, hopefully I'll have a little bit more background and information to share with you guys. But the Bulldog 2 was released by Mugen in 1986. Um, the Bulldog had already come out, but this was a different um, body shell. And I believe a few little changes in the chassis. But the awesome thing about this one is, is it has so much awesome, strange, cool technology from 1986. You know, we're in 2022, and there's companies out there that aren't making anything similar to this and, you know, probably won't. But it is a very cool kit. This is four-wheel drive. This has four-wheel steering. So don't think of it as, you know, a monster truck where, you know, both tires turn in equal amount. The front steering turns a lot and the rear steering turns a little. It's just to be able to, you know, swing the rear end of the car out a little bit quicker on the corners and stuff. Um, this actually has a belt drive system in it. So it has a center differential with a front and rear belt. Um, it has uh, ball dips, I believe, in the front and the rear. Um, I'd kind of glanced through the manual a little bit just to kind of take it all in when I got it. Um, but front wheel drive, front four wheel steering. So this is what they call their AWS, their all wheel drive system. So, you know, all four tires are turning and burning. <laughs> so uh, belt drive, this has two shocks for the entire car. And the crazy thing about them is they're not oil filled shocks. They're actually like an air bladder type shock. I, I don't even know how it works. It is... 
an air shock for the front and the rear. And it's a mono shock that lays across the chassis and operates off of air pressure. I don't know. It's bizarre to me. I've never actually seen it work. Um, you know, it came with uh, anti-roll bars or sway bars. Um, it has dog bones all the way around for the drivetrain. So, you know, very advanced, um, kind of one-off technology for the era of, you know, all these things. And it's all in this book. So, I'm sorry, this one is probably not going to get built. Um, it, it may. I'm not going to say it's never going to get built, but for right now, this one's going to stay in box. Again, this is a very, very rare kit. Um, you know, I'm just overjoyed and overwhelmed that it's actually in my possession and this is part of my collection. So, building it right now is not something I'm, I'm thinking about doing. Um, you know, we'll, we'll go through an unboxing, um, we'll have its dedicated video on it so you guys can see all the parts, see all the neat stuff. This one is presented really well. You know, this is your, your high-end Tamiya, high-end Kyosho type blister packs and everything. And, you know, it's just really, really cool how this is built, how this is laid out. And, you know, we'll cover all that in that video. But for right now, we're going to build the Bandito. This one is kind of a far down the road possibility. Um, but I'm kind of thinking this is going to stay in the box and the Maruri, that one's staying in the box. Um, you know, if, if one of these days I can find a used one that is in running order, I may buy one and run it around, but you know, I can't see building something from the very early eighties, brittle plastics and trying to run it. So I, I just feel Kit number one is going to stay in a box. This one is extremely rare and extremely awesome, and I just don't know if I can bring myself to building this one either. The Cox, we're, we're going to go ahead and build that one because, you know, it's pretty much built already. So the only thing we're going to do is kind of tear it apart a little bit, make sure the grease is good, rebuild it, get it finished, and take it out for a light drive, and then that one's going to have a very relaxed life on the shelf as well. Um, the other two are just going to stay in the inbox. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I know everybody wants to see him run. Everybody wants to see him jump. <clears throat> sorry. No track videos on these guys. None of that. These are going to be, you know, these are collector, collector pieces. So I'm, you know, I, I myself never thought, why in the world would you have an RC car and just leave it in the box? But here I am. And I can't bring myself to pulling them out of the box and building them. At least not at this moment. Um, this one, like I said, possibility. But again, uh, huge, huge, huge shout out to RC Elf. You were absolutely amazing. I can't... Uh, the, <laughs> a million thank yous. Um, and again, if I ever meet you in person, um, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to break a rib because I'm going to hug you like nobody's business. <laughs> All right, guys. Well... I'm going to wrap it up for the day. Everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and make sure you hit the subscribe button because these will be up on the channel in the very soon future. And, you know, I'm going to be doing my homework to study up on them a little bit more so I can give you guys as much information as I can on them. Um, again, I'm I'm new to this. <laughs> um, this, this extremely vintage uh, kind of rare stuff is a little bit out of my normal, and um, so I'm going to have to do my homework on these. All right, guys, everybody out there, be happy, be healthy, be safe. I will catch you on the next one. See ya.